Hey, how you guys doing? Uh, I'm here to talk about AMD's uh, new Ryzen Threadripper, uh, new generation that's uh, coming out, uh, hasn't been quite released. And this new version features 32 cores at 3.4 gigahertz speed, clock speed, which has been raised as well. And uh, I believe they do this by doubling the core count again. Um, the first version uses uh, used two CPU cores, and this new one uses four. Now, um, I've been discussing this on um, Red Shark News, um, which also announced the release of the new Ryzen processor. And uh, we were kind of, since it's a uh, camera filming uh, centric website, we're kind of saying how this um, new processor would fare for video editing. Now, I've said for years that Amdell's law comes into play anytime you get past a certain pa uh, uh, amount of cores in a processor, uh, which is around eight to 10. By adding more cores, it doesn't really, you don't get much as a rate of a return. Because each time you double the amount of cores, it, it diminishes the uh, performance. And so by the time you get to a thousand dollar processor, you're not getting much for your money. And uh, actually there's a, a YouTube web, uh, channel as well uh, which I've found uh, this comes from Optimus Tech and he actually did testing on the first generation Ryzen Th Threadripper and pretty much he came to the same assessment. Um, now before I get into that um, he uh, the new version since it has a higher clock uh, clock frequency we should see um, uh, test scores improve a little bit but he, uh, he actually came to the assessment that a th even a $300 CPU beat out the $1,000 uh, uh, processor simply because uh, for that reason and it really doesn't have to do with the processor itself and like I said MDEL's law comes into play and other factors and I, I simply believe in love this processor. And if I ever uh, wanted to buy another one or build one, I'd simply uh, definitely look at the uh, Threadripper as my uh, uh, first CPU. Now, I think such a processor with such a high core count would probably be better for things like multitasking, where you use a lot of applications open running at the same time. So you could probably do video editing, um, uh, watch a YouTube video and, and just multitask away or even server use where you have hundreds or dozens or hundreds of requests simultaneously that would be best used for such a high core count for such as this so if, uh, if you're thinking of using uh, this for video editing uh, for you might, you might want to uh, think of using something else and uh, that's why I simply chose uh, my new Mac Pro uh, 2013 model, I decided to go with the six core with a higher frequency rate rather than something like a 10 or higher. Um, give me your thoughts on this and uh, the new Ryzen CPU Threadripper. And uh, thanks for watching.